that just happened over there. That video was sick. And they have us. We're stuck here and we could have been swimming already, but. Uh, <laughs> I deleted a clip right now when we were talking, now I have to do it over again. <laughs> Let's see. Here we are. I didn't even care. He just left. It still reaches over there. It still looks good, but. The guy's taking video. <laughs> He's looking over here. Oh damn! I didn't even see that. It's a look. Look at the big line over there. Oh, you see it? Oh, it's a long line over there. He looked like those wings that go fast, he got too close to those. We're here at the Rio with Ricky and Jesse. We're gonna vlog some stuff for you guys. Hopefully y'all enjoy. Hopefully y'all enjoy the day we're gonna have. It's Sunday, let's have a chill day guys. Chill vlog, chill everything. I'm gonna get this in back for if y'all see that in a minute. This is gay ass people. I can tell you that. I don't have a problem with that, honestly. I, I, could be, I could be like that too. I don't either, but I mean, there's just one thing sitting out there. Like, right Are you gonna jump or what? I'll tell them straight up. Like, can y'all move the fuck out the way so I can jump? Yeah, don't worry. Hey, where is that, man? That's how you art there works in this world, man. Is your host? Now I know the last vlog was 39 minutes <laughs> because of all the stories and shit, but I mean, it was pretty fun though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did watch it all the way to the end. Exploring, looking for new spots where there's no, hopefully there's no people. So we could It looks good, but it ain't even deep. Pretty chill Sunday. Just <laughs> it, it, it looks deep. <laughs> I thought it wasn't deep. <laughs> and Ricky boy, is it deep? I'm vlogging. Check if it's with deep Ricky. <laughs> I mean, the guys threw themselves from on top of there. I'm sure it's pretty deep. Hey, yeah, keep that chair. It's pretty chill here. There's no, there's no people. I mean, it's just us. So yeah, guys, we're just gonna chill here for a bit. So we're there for a while. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I thought I was gonna hit my. My feet when I was gonna throw it, my stuff. It looks... Oh, look at this part here. Look at this part. 
That'd be a nice little picture. That'd be cool for some picture, some tricks right there. So right now we're going to the big bridge. The you, you haven't, you never been there, right? Cool. To the big bridge. Yeah, I have. I like the bottom, but I have fun. Me too. Yeah, so we're going there for a while. Jump off, Ricky? Yeah, even little kids jump off. You wanna jump off, Jesse? I'm go for it. <laughs> this is go for it. Fuck it. When I, well, the last time I went for it, like, like I jumped, and then I don't, all of a sudden, like my ear started hurting. Cause I think I got my ear started hurting for some reason. Probably cause I got a lot of water in there. Yeah, that's the bridge. Yeah, that's the bridge that jumped off. That's the bridge that you jumped from, baby. Yeah. It's right here I found it. <laughs> this is where Jesse's girlfriend jumped off from too. Oh yeah it is. Yeah, because the graffiti is right there. Yeah. Ricky's gonna jump off and see if he does it. Hello <laughs> Rick! Oh yeah, I wanna do that. Hey, <laughs> that Ricky's gonna do it, Ricky's gonna do it. Look at me. You're Guys, right now when I, when I, when I was running to the water, I don't know when I landed, I hit my balls, fucking hurt. <laughs> I hit my ball. So, Jesus, nigga was just scared to jump off the bridge. So, I did it first about three times in a row. And they went off right after me. <coughs> it's scary, man. <laughs> hey, let's go, boys. My voice kind of sounds different, man. Have a different accent. Just went out. My voice hurts, dude. There's water in my nose. <coughs> There's water in my ears. It sucks. Hey! Jesse, <laughs> he did it. So just got home. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog over there in the real. You know, I thought it was a pretty fun day. It was chill, chill Sunday. I don't know if you noticed, know but like I'm getting more comfortable with the camera, like talking to the camera, because when I started vlogging, I will show some kind of a weird expression, you know. But as I start vlogging more, I'm gonna have an ex I'm gonna have more and more experience uh, and confidence on talking to a camera. Just like today, I was vlogging in front of people because I'm always shy to I'm always embarrassed I'm always embarrassed to vlog in front of people because I know they're gonna be saying like oh what the fuck is this guy doing he's talking to the camera but if it were be, if it were to be their role model or like Selena Gomez or Justin Bieber or somebody like that what what is the first thing they're gonna do oh can I be in your vlog oh can I take a picture with you you know 
so you shouldn't even care what the people say. I was vlogging, talking to a camera, and I didn't care what people say. So, and that's the way it's supposed to be. And I just like, and I, and I just love inspiring you guys to just be yourselves. You gotta do what you gotta do, because, and start doing what you love, guys. You know, don't wait until next year. Don't wait until next week. Don't wait until let's say you want to do something tomorrow, like and. Eh, Let's say you want to learn a backflip and then you say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow and then and then those and then that saying of I'll do it tomorrow becomes never. So, you know, so thank you guys so much for the love. I don't know if you guys even saw the vlog all the way to the end on vlog episode 13 because it was 39 minutes. I was editing and it took so long for me to upload it. I have no idea why, but I need to fix those things. I don't know. Do you guys like shorter vlogs or longer vlogs? Uh, you guys tell me, should I daily vlog or should I keep doing like weekly? I'm trying to do three vlogs a week. I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm going to try, try to daily vlog. But let's see how it goes. Here's the thing, as I said, um, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. You know, today was fun. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. What if I'm busy? What if I'm with family? And you no, know, there's no time to vlog, you know. Let's just see how it goes, you know, let's live in the present, not worry so much about the future, which I always overthink about my future, it, it's, it's a bad habit I have, but I just want to make big things, I'm always thinking about a project I want to do, I'm, I always have ideas at night that I'm always thinking about before I go to sleep, and it motivates me, you know, when I wake up, I, I'm motivated to start my day because now... Nowadays, I just look for positivity. There may be negativity around me, but I just look for positivity. That's all. I just want peace for the world. And for the for the shooting that happened in Dallas, man, that sucks. It's sickening if you ask me. It's just sad. It shows how much hatred there is there is in this world. And but I just want to wake up one day and see the world at peace. I mean, why do we have wars when we could just have peace? But I guess that's how it is. We just need, instead of unifying hate, we need to unify love, you know? All right, guys, so I had, I went to go work out. I just got back, shower, and I, had a, I woke up with a really deep thought. And that deep thought is, why do people hate each other? What, why don't people just have happiness over, over other people's success? You know, not be down, not be jealous. This is what my sophomore fifth period teacher once said. She said, I wish that aliens can come to the world so that people can unite. Because why do people hate each other, man? We need to unify love, not hate. So when she said that, when she said that, you know, it had me thinking that, damn, why is there so much hate in this world, you know? And, I mean, I don't know if you guys get hated on, but I sure do know that I get hated on. Because I even heard it from the most hypocritical people tell me that parkour is stupid. And I'm sure that people who have seen my videos or seen YouTube videos of parkour, I'm sure they think that it's stupid. But is it really stupid? Lee Edge Malone on one of his videos of, of You Got This Bro, he said, If you don't see that parkour is a great thing now, it's fine. You'll see it when it comes out in your favorite film, favorite game. You'll see it everywhere else. As as of right now, parkour is everywhere. They have Red Bull competitions. They have competitions everywhere. San Antonio, San Antonio. There's a park. There's a pro parkour athlete there, and they even have a gym. Thin air, thin air. Parkour people, free runners go train there. So it's mostly free runners that go train there, not. It's becoming a big sport if you haven't realized it. It's coming out on movies, it's coming out on video games. For example, Assassin's Creed, Ninja Turtles, Deadpool. That's how come you get action. That's how come you see those badass stunts like Superman vs. Batman. A pro freerunner was acting. Almost every movie, I'm sure Tarzan, a freerunner was acting for, for the main you know, character. Why can't we just have peace towards each other, you know? I don't know if you're fans, like big fans, but you know, hopefully one day, one day we make it. Just know that we made it together as a family, as a wolf pack. How do you think the Wright brothers felt when they were getting criticized 
by them saying, oh, we're going to create a little metal that's going to fly people all around the world. And thanks to them, thanks to them, we have airplanes. That's the way it should be. That's the way I try to be. I want to be a singer and then I don't make, and then I don't write songs. How do I expect to get there, you know? This video calmed me down. This video, you know, so much. Speechless. Speechless how there's some nice people out there that I wish I could surround myself with. Even when I go to San Antonio, just to go to the dermatologist, damn, the doctors are so nice. There's so much nice people out there, and I wish I could meet them. I'm going to show you what John Hergity says. This is one that I wanted to show you guys. This is amazing. Caesar Wolf, dude, you've been around since like day one you've always been there you did a question and answer okay, so today's a q a where you gave your question and here's your question and answer I don't want to add that clip there because I'm sure maybe some of you guys haven't seen it so I don't want to spoil it so I'm gonna skip it but you know you know he showed my q a on his videos he's giving me a shout out so you know just thank you so much on Harry D. that's absolutely awesome so Caesar big shout out to you dude I really appreciate your video. I really appreciate your kind words. And you are a huge inspiration on why I do it all the time. And you, you know, as a vlogger yourself, you know that when you, you look at your views, you're like, oh, I got 40 views or 50 views or 100 views. You're like, everybody else is just killing it. Like, Lance gets 50 views in the first second that his video goes up. It's like, am I ever going to get there? But when watching your video gives me inspiration that if we all look out for each other and we all watch each other's stuff we're, we're not going to fail it's worth it we're not going to fail so big shout out caesar wolf you guys all, all my subscribers on here caesar wolf if you don't if you didn't already subscribe to him subscribe to him you'll love his videos he's an awesome person so Definitely, definitely go check him out. And I'm speechless by that. I'm speechless. But because even if I inspire only one person, that makes me happy because I don't want to be known for, you know, that cool, the cool Caesar, you know, doing parkour and stuff. I want to be known for the hard worker inspiring Caesar Wolf. And that's what I want to be known for. And as he said, I get inspired when I see your videos, you know, Stuart uploads the second that he uploads he he already has 50 views you know we're gonna get there we're gonna get there john Haggerty. shout out to him if you haven't subscribed to him please go subscribe to him give him the wolf pack love please guys please that's his channel guys please go subscribe to him give him love he's a vlogger he, he's a hard worker because he films every single day and it's hard man editing and then filming and hopefully one day we get to interact when I meet you and collaborate and make a big project together So again, thank you guys so much for the love and support you've been showing and I hope you enjoy this vlog and I'll see you guys next time